was the 2016 home opener for the Western Michigan football team last Saturday night at Waldo Stadium as the Broncos played host to North Carolina Central on Community Night. Senior quarterback Zach Terrell had a big night, throwing four touchdown passes, three to Corey Davis. Davis had 150 yards in receptions, while seven Broncos found the end zone. The Western Michigan offense put up 614 yards of total offense, while the Bronco defense held North Carolina Central to just 315 yards and held them scoreless in the second half. Final score, Western Michigan 70, North Carolina Central 21. I'm Robin Hook. Coming up, head coach P.J. Flack joins me for all the highlights on week two of Bronco Review after this timeout. Bronco Review is a production of Western Michigan University Athletics and WMU Media Services and is brought to you in part by Greenleaf Trust, financial security from generation to generation. Trust is in their name for a reason. They've earned it. A part of being a member at Arbor Financial Credit Union is the relationships and personal attention you get from our helpful and knowledgeable staff but we realize you don't always have time for that. With Arbor Financial's secure mobile app, you can quickly check your balance, pay a bill, deposit a check, or find an ATM. In between, well, everything else. Visit us online at arborfcu.org for more information. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Little Caesars, home of the $5 Hot and Ready Classic, is driving your taste buds crazy with our new loaded crazy bread bites for just four bucks. We start with our world-famous crazy bread, cut into delicious bite-sized pieces. Then we amp up the flavor with creamy cheddar cheese sauce, mozzarella and monster cheese, and tasty applewood bacon, all baked to perfection. Need more kick? We've added a side of jalapenos. Try our loaded crazy bread bites for just four bucks, only at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Subaru. Maple Hill and Subaru, they're becoming synonymous with best of quality for the love, for the trust, everything that you want in buying a car. Consumers Magazine puts them as number one year after year. The only brand that's had three Motor Trend Car of the Year awards. The only SUVs that have ever repeated that many times in the past five years. We're proud to be a Subaru dealer. How's it going? Nice to meet you guys. I have these two laptops. We're gonna each download a TV show. I'm gonna download it on Xfinity, and you guys are gonna download it with AT&T U-verse, and we're gonna see who goes faster. Go. Well, this is a no-brainer so far. How's AT&T doing? Struggling. I'm ready to go. We'll wait for you guys. Looks like we're gonna be waiting for a while. Don't let U-verse slow you down. Upgrade to an Xfinity X1 triple play from Comcast and save when you bundle. See for yourself. Call 1-800-XFINITY or visit Comcast.com today. A light beer brewed to have more taste than any other light beer. Hats off to that. Miller Lite, spelled different because it's brewed different. Goes deep for Davis, pouring to the 10, five, touchdown, Western Michigan on the first play of the game. Corey Davis to the house, 51 yards for the touchdown. Corey Davis with his first of three touchdown receptions last Saturday night against North Carolina Central. And uh, Corey had an awesome night, 150 yards and three scores. Yeah, he's a special player, and to be able to do that in three quarters and then get pulled in the fourth quarter is pretty special. But uh, one play, one touchdown, I wish they were all that easy. Seven different Broncos getting into the end zone. Let's go to Waldo Stadium and take a look at the highlights of Western Michigan and North Carolina Central. It was Community Night, 25th anniversary of this event. The tents were going at the baseball stadium. A lot of grilling, a lot of students making their way into the stadium. Of course, Bronco marching band and the dance and the cheer team. I tell you, they are absolutely awesome, absolutely elite. And here come the Broncos led by Triumph and Buster out of the tunnel. Let's play some football at Waldo Stadium, the first of six home games for the Broncos. It was good to be back home. I know that. Our players were looking forward to this. and 24,000 people, that was exceptional. And uh, I know they, uh, they got, only got a chance to see a half, but uh, they, they cheered a lot in that first half. Touch back there by your kicker, Derek Mitchell. He's pretty good at that. He's getting better and better. You know, we got to fix a few things that are going out of bounds a few times. But, you know, this is a converted quarterback that we made a kickoff guy. So he's getting there. He's such a fabulous athlete. And I'm very proud of his progress. And he is now on scholarship. So uh, he's definitely earned that. Three and out by the defense. And you get the football and go right to work. And here's the first play for Western Michigan. 
into the end zone. Corey Davis. You know, wonderful job by the defense be getting us a three and out. We needed to start fast on defense because uh, we did kick to them first. And one play, one touchdown, seven to nothing. That's, that's the way you want to draw them up. Incredible block by Donnie Ernsberger uh, getting that guy out of the hole. So uh, uh, just really proud of the players executing the play exactly the way it needed to be executed. That's how it looked to our sweet holders in the Sealy end zone. <laughs> they had a nice view of that, didn't they? <laughs> and uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure they probably said, Coach, why can't you do that all the time on just one play? <laughs> So back to work, your defense goes, and there's Eric Kasua. He's getting better and better. Our defensive line's getting better and better. I agree with you. Coach Williams doing a tremendous job of getting those guys to play with that high and that burning desire all the time. And they're growing up. That's what's fun about that D-line. They're finally growing up. We played a lot of young guys for a lot of years. This guy, he uh, is electrifying to watch as he bursts through the middle of the defense. Jamari Bogan, one of the... Bronco running backs who found the end zone in this game, and now Michael Henry with the catch. You know what, that's the ability of all the playmakers we have, spread the ball around. And it all starts with our running game and the three-headed monster. And shoot, we almost had three guys rush for over 100 yards. We had two over 100, and Jarvion had 91. So uh, again, but everything we do starts with our running game, which you can see. Here's Jamari running uh, to the left side and into the end zone for a touchdown. Your first of five rushing touchdowns in the game. Well, everything starts with the run game. and. Uh, very proud of our guys. We had four running backs score on the ground. And then obviously Zach Terrell, crazy legs, uh, they call him. He, uh, he used his legs very well in the game, and uh, as well as his mind, making the elite decisions that he did. Western Michigan, back with the football and uh, the play fake. Wow, that fakes everybody. Yeah, here comes Corey the other way. You know what, that's, the, that's part of our offense, the misdirection. You know, we want you to think one thing and we do another thing, whether that's a, uh, a run pass option or whether that's play action whether that's reverses or screens, uh, we want to make sure you're always thinking. Carrington Thompson spun around there and he found his way into the end zone. I tell you what, Carrington Thompson would have never played this much last year or the year before. He's really grown up, he's matured, and he's, uh, he's an integral part of what we're doing. He really is. He's instrumental to everything we do. He's a very, very, very important part of our system, and he's really become an elite human being. You guys keep scoring like that. Butch Hampton's going to kick a lot of point after. Yeah, let's not be expecting 70 points every <laughs> game now. That hasn't happened in the last, you know, I think the last time it happened, it happens close to 20 years ago. So, <laughs> you know, uh, let's not be expecting that all the time. But we did enjoy it, and, and our players really uh, deserved it. Here's the punt return for a touchdown by Darius Phillips, his third special teams touchdown as a Bronco. Two kick returns, and now this punt return he made. A couple of guys miss, broke a couple of tackles, and took it to the end zone. And he got a lot of elite blocks, too. You know, he's got a wonderful unit behind him. Um, you know, we call him our Savages unit. They did a tremendous job, and Darius gets the ball and does the rest, and the rest is history. So the Broncos with a big first-half lead as uh, they put up 42 first-half points in this one. We'll come back with more highlights as we turn to the second quarter. The Broncos on defense going to work. And uh, the defense gave up a couple of scores in that first half, PJ, but uh, settled in, particularly in the second half. We'll you know, see later. we really did. You know, any any time you win by 49 points, you got to be careful when you really get after them. But uh, we did. We had three breakdowns, three miscues in the secondary, and it really cost us 21 points. And we had one guy not drop in the right area. We had one guy uh, take a bad angle to a football. But again, everything's correctable. That's what I really like about this football team. Here's Western Michigan on the ground again with Jarvion Franklin. He's running harder, he's running stronger, he's running more aggressive, and he's taking care of the football. That's what we need from our running backs. And then this guy can break it quickly, Levante Bellamy. And he had some beautiful runs in here. This was a play fake to him, and that running game sets up this kind of stuff. It really does. And once Corey Davis gets into the open field, there's nobody that's going to be able to bring him down. And there are two tacklers that did everything they could to grab him, push him, hold him right here. And this is what just shows his knee drive, his aggressiveness, his twitch, his explosiveness. And this is why everybody talks about him being such a high NFL prospect right there. That's what you get from him. Five white shirts all around him, yet he eludes them and finds the, the paint. Yeah, the only one that matters is that brown shirt out there. You know, the one that says Broncos <laughs> across the chest. So uh, I'm very proud of him. He's getting better and better. But one thing I love about Corey is he knows he can continue to improve. He's not going to rest on his laurels. I know that. So your defense goes back to work against... Malcolm Bell and North Carolina Central, and they've got some weapons on their offense. They really, they? they really do. They've got some receivers that are really going to play. Some of them are on a lot of draft boards. Uh, but again, that's, that's what we're going to face every single week. We, we have a very, very tough and demanding schedule, but we wouldn't want it any other way. Zach Terrell scrambling, and uh, he continues to look downfield for an open receiver. Yeah, we had a few drops on that drive, which was a little bit frustrating. We had two drops on that drive, which... Uh, we've got to be able to clean up. You know, Zach was a 71% completion percentage throughout this game, but it should have been higher. Uh, Wideout's got to be able to help him on every single play. 
This was uh, one of the, I thought, outstanding plays of the game. Donnie Ernstberger comes diving in at the end of this and gets to the bottom of the pile and recovered that fumble. Yeah, the first issue is we let go of the football. You know, we pride ourselves on not letting go of the football. The ball is the program, and we can't fumble the football like that, but thank goodness for Donnie Ernstberger and his how because uh, he was diving into that pile. I don't think it was the first one there, but he was the last one there, that's for sure. All right, Broncos driving again, and uh, Zach Terrell running things, and let's go on the ground this time to Bellamy for his first touchdown of the season. Yeah, you know what? We had, like I said, we had four guys score in their backfield, and that's what we have to be able to create. We have to get multiple guys involved in the running game, and again, that way we can last the whole season with our players and, and, and avoid some of the risks of being beat up late in the season. So Western Michigan adds more points to the scoreboard, 42 first half points in this one. And you go into the locker room at halftime, there was a band show and a great fireworks show, and there was also a lightning show too that <laughs> resulted in a delay. We'll come back and talk about that and look at the second half highlights when we return for more Bronco Review after this timeout. Are you considering home improvements? You should consider BlackBerry. For over 35 years, BlackBerry's installed windows, roofing, siding, and sunrooms, satisfying thousands of customers throughout West Michigan. Right now at BlackBerry, you can get 10 of our best-selling, high-performance, double-hung windows for only $44.50 installed. 18 months no interest financing and 10 windows for just $44.50 installed. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. At Galesburg Ford, we all agree, we love football. And I like the Honolulu blue and silver. Brown and gold all the way. I kind of like purple. We may all cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. That's to put you in the right car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford. Or a certified used vehicle. Now you can score your next vehicle at Galesburg Ford. Touchdown! Galesburg Ford. Not too far for your next car. I love my job, but I was so tired, I could hardly get through the day. That's where I knew something had to change. The team at the Borges Heart Institute found a heart arrhythmia. After they treated me, I had so much more energy. That's where I started finding time for me again. Watch more Borges patient stories at thatswhere.com. When we decided to change our name to Arbor Financial Credit Union, we wanted a name that would better express who we are and what we stand for. We're about supporting your growth, whether that's into a new car, a new business, a house of your dreams, or a new stage of life. We're about supporting you and your family, as well as the communities we all share. Welcome to Arbor Financial Credit Union, where we continue to grow with you, just as we always have. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. To the 10, to the 15, there is to the 20, 25, 30. He may not be caught this time, he will not. 20, 10, foul, touchdown. Corey Davis, he's got it for the touchdown. Corey Davis, touchdown, Western Michigan. Zach has the snap. Play fake over the middle. Caught by Thompson inside the five. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Western Michigan. Harrington Thompson was spun around 360 degrees. Stayed on his feet and scored. Harrington Thompson with his first half touchdown, helping the Broncos open up that 42 to 21 halftime lead. As we mentioned earlier, Carrington's really coming on. He really has. He's catching the ball way better than he ever has. His route running's really improved. Matt Simon, our wide receiver coach, has done a phenomenal job developing this young man. All right, now, so we won't go to halftime. Marching bands out there, they do their show. And uh, followed by an outstanding fireworks presentation that is annually a part of University Night at Waldo Stadium to open the season. Another great fireworks zone. Now, you don't get to see this kind of stuff. I don't get to see any of this. I might have heard it, but I didn't know if it was the weather or it was the fireworks. It probably sounded the same. Yeah, so as soon as this fireworks show was over, the real lightning started, and the game was delayed for over an hour. But you guys come back out and uh, remain focused and get the job done and put up 70. You know, I thought it was impressive by our football team to respond the way they did. 
Uh, adversity comes in all forms, shapes and sizes, and a weather delay can be a distraction. But we went in there and uh, you know, we spent 35 minutes on position meetings, broke down everything, made our adjustments, and came out and started fast in the second half. Yeah, it wasn't table hockey and foosball like they do in the major leagues during a rain delay. <laughs> it definitely wasn't that. <laughs> I promise you this, our players probably do not want uh, to have a rain delay ever again because uh, <laughs> it was like having uh, meetings uh, in normal uh, practice week for about 45 minutes. Well, whatever was said to the defense certainly got through. They did nothing in the second half against you. You know, we needed to be able to do some things defensively, and it was very, like I said, the adjustments we made were very fixable. Uh, their coaches get paid too, and they get, they get paid to make adjustments. Uh, but again, we had to make better adjustments than they did. We had to fix our issues, and I, I'm proud of our staff because this week was about us, focusing on us, and we were able to do that. Here's the fade. How about that? That's not easy to do. Get a foot down and go up high and he timed that perfectly, Corey Davis, with his third touchdown reception. That's why he's Corey Davis. This kind of feels like the spring game, doesn't it? When you kind of look at it like a night spring game because everybody had left because of the weather, which they were told to. But uh, I told our players even coming out, the atmosphere is going to change. It's going to be more like a practice. So just be ready for that. All right, the Bronco defense getting the job done and uh, chasing down ball carriers. Got a little chippy there, too. And they get a little chippy, which uh, was as uncharacteristic of us. We kind of let them uh, get in our heads at certain times. But again, I will always defend our players. There were a lot of things on that field that were going on that I did not agree with. All right, Broncos back to work. And uh, on the ground, through the air, you're so unpredictable, PJ. Nobody knows what's coming. Well, Coach Rocket does a tremendous job of keeping us balanced. I think that's the best way to describe our offense is balanced. And any elite offense in the country, whether it's NFL or collegiately, uh, has, has balance to their offense. All right, still another quarter to go, and the Broncos put some more points on the board, and uh, you're also able to get some other guys some game experience, which was great to see. I think that was critical. You know, we pulled our starters in the fourth quarter, and we got a lot of guys that uh, don't get as much playing time, some playing time, and we're building depth behind our guys with game experience. Here's Jarvion Franklin with his first touchdown of the season, and uh, seven different Broncos found the paint. You know, that's important, you know, <laughs> getting in the end zone is a special experience and we wanted everybody kind of get off on the season on the right foot. So uh, we kind of got those touchdowns out of the way and now a lot of the first got out of the way and now we can just continue to be ourselves and, and uh, again, be a selfless team. All right, uh, North Carolina Central got tired of taking touchbacks from Derek, so they returned this one out of the end zone and great kick coverage by your guys. There really was. Asante Brown's really coming along as a tackler and he did a nice job from game one to game two improving on his tackling. Here's the rugby-style punt by Derek Mitchell, and uh, he's learned how to do this pretty well. He's quietly become a really good punter. Uh, remember, he came here as a quarterback, uh, and then he, before that, he came, here, he came here from being a baseball player. <laughs> so he's really adapted himself. He's an incredible athlete, and I'm just glad that he's part of our football team. And now he's on scholarship, so congratulations to him. Tom Flacco in there at quarterback, and here goes Bellamy breaking through into the secondary. Yeah, we needed Bellamy to get going. You know, he's uh, always been kind of the third back last year and then uh, suffered from a few injuries here and there, so we needed to get him back in the mix, so I'm proud that we did that. And the Broncos get in the end zone again, and tell you what, uh, it's good to see these young guys like Davon Tucker get yeah, in the end zone. A guy that we uh, redshirted last year from New Jersey, from close to the same area as uh, – uh, as as uh, Jamari Bogan, so uh, you know it's good to get him in there. He's he's really earned a lot of his reps, and I'm really excited for the future in the backfield with him back there. Alex Grace in there making some tackles. How about that one? Here's yeah. a guy who was a running back in high school. Yeah, another redshirt freshman that we didn't use last year, so it was really good to get him in the game again, building that depth, building that future for years to come. And Western Michigan puts up 70 on uh, North Carolina Central. I love this at the end of the game when the band and the team get together. Uh, this is one of my favorite parts. This is something I'll always take with me uh, for the, just, just forever, just to have, is, is singing the alma mater at, at Western Michigan. And this isn't where I went to school, but I feel like I am every time I sing that, that this is my alma mater. It's a very special time, and we have the best band uh, in the country, and David does a tremendous job. We'll be back with more Bronco Review after this timeout. You trust Dunchy Body and Frame for all your collision repair work, but they offer so much more, from brakes and alignments to paintless dent repair. Dunchy works with all insurance companies and provides you with a lifetime warranty on collision repair and workmanship. So for the personal hometown service you want and the high quality, no pressure repair you deserve, give them a call at 375-2100 or visit them on the web at dunchybody.com. Dunchy Body and Frame, part of your community since 1973. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Subaru. 
Maple Hill and Subaru, they're becoming synonymous with best of quality for the love, for the trust, everything that you want in buying a car. Consumers Magazine puts them as number one year after year. The only brand that's had three Motor Trend Car of the Year awards. The only SUVs that have ever repeated that many times in the past five years. We're proud to be a Subaru dealer. Choosing a home isn't easy. This is where your kids will draw on the walls, where the people you love will gather to laugh and cry. It's a big decision, but choosing a mortgage doesn't have to be. At Arbor Financial, our knowledgeable staff will help you find a mortgage that's right for you, like our mortgage special with no money down, no PMI, and terms up to 30 years. You find the home, we'll make it easy. Visit us at arborfcu.org to find out more. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Little Caesars, home of the $5 Hot and Ready Classic, is driving your taste buds crazy with our new loaded crazy bread bites for just four bucks. We start with our world-famous crazy bread, cut into delicious bite-sized pieces. Then we amp up the flavor with creamy cheddar cheese sauce, mozzarella and monster cheese, and tasty applewood bacon, all baked to perfection. Need more kick? We've added a side of jalapenos. Try our loaded crazy bread bites for just four bucks, only at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. What if a home phone could also be a smartphone? And what if that home phone could save you money on your home and wireless bill at the same time? With Xfinity Voice, you get amazing technology like readable voicemail on your smartphone, caller ID on your TV, and even text messaging, all for a low price. Start saving with unlimited nationwide talk and text and switch to Xfinity Voice for just $19.99 a month for 12 months. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. Here's Lou Punt, fielded by Phillips at the 34, makes one man miss to the 40, 45, 50. Darius Phillips up the left side, he's to the 30, he's to the 20, he may go to the house, 10, 5, touchdown, Western Michigan! Darius Phillips with a pump return for the touchdown! Darius Phillips taking a punt return 66 yards to the house on Saturday in the Western Michigan victory over North Carolina Central. That's his third special teams touchdown as a Bronco. He returned a kick in 2014 against Eastern Michigan for a touchdown. Last year, he returned a kick off 100 yards for a touchdown against Michigan State. And now he's added a punt return, PJ, and he's an electrifying running. Yeah, he's dynamic. He really is. And you know, there were some questions coming out of the first two game, first game, whether we put him back there. Is he doing too much? Um, but obviously, we thought he wasn't doing enough, and so we kept him in there. And, and thank goodness we did, because he is a dynamic player. We need him to touch the ball more, and those are ways for us to be able to do that, especially since we moved into defense. The nice thing about uh, Darius is not only is he fast, he's powerful. He broke some tackles. Now he got some good blocks on that return, but he also uh, broke a tackle or two. He got some great blocks, but he's a very strong runner, and he has incredible vision. That's what people don't understand about him. He anticipates, and that's a sign of a really elite running back is when you have the ball in your hand, uh, he can see what's coming, and he can be very proactive in that. So uh, very proud of him and amazing blocks, but he's very dynamic with the ball. Now, he's part of your secondary that features a lot of young guys, a lot of freshmen and redshirt freshmen back there in the secondary. And uh, Darius is a junior, but he's only played DB for one season. Yeah, he is the veteran, you know, which is a little bit different for him. You know, he's always been the younger guy with Donald Salisgar teaching him what to do and Ronald Zamwart teaching him what to do. Now he, you know, the student has become the teacher. And I think he's been phenomenal at that. He's got a very young secondary, but it's finally his secondary. And I think he's stepping up and doing what he needs to do. Of course, he scored a lot of touchdowns on offense in his first season as a Bronco. You ever thought about sneaking him in there? Uh, Coach Pinkham would kill me. <laughs> he would. I mean, trust me, I, I can make the decision if we need to. But at the end of the day, he really belongs on defense. Next up, the Broncos travel to Champaign, Illinois to take on the Fighting Illini. We'll talk about that next on Bronco Review after this timeout. Hey, I'm Carter Osterhaus. What do you do when you discover something great? Well, you tell your family and friends about it, right? Well, that's exactly how Lake Michigan Credit Union became the fastest growing credit union in Michigan. With some of the best checking account rates in the nation and guaranteed low mortgage rates, word is spreading fast about Lake Michigan Credit Union. Anyone can open an account. So tell your friends, Lake Michigan Credit Union, the best place for your money. Your home can look its best with a little help from BlackBerry. 
For more than 30 years, BlackBerry's installed energy efficient replacement windows, sided homes with great looking vinyl siding, replaced roofs, gutters, shutters, and doors. We have thousands of satisfied customers throughout West Michigan. Right now at BlackBerry, it's our home improvement sale. Save on upgrades to your home, plus get 18 months of no interest financing. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. I was teeing off on the 13th hole. I watched the shot fade right. I felt dizzy and then I fell backwards. That's where I almost died. The doctors, the nurses, everybody there was just wonderful. They never gave up. That's where I got my life back. For my first trick, I'll switch one brother for another brother. Mom and Dad, will you help? Abracadabra. What happened to Alex? I don't know. I didn't practice that part. The switch works better at Galesburg Ford, where you can trade in your old vehicle for a new Ford with innovative technologies like foot-operated lift gates and EcoBoost engines. See why people are making the switch at Galesburg Ford. Galesburg Ford. Not too far for your next car. A part of being a member at Arbor Financial Credit Union is the relationships and personal attention you get from our helpful and knowledgeable staff. But we realize you don't always have time for that. With Arbor Financial's secure mobile app, you can quickly check your balance, pay a bill, deposit a check, or find an ATM. In between, well, everything else. Visit us online at arborfcu.org for more information. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Terrell, play fake to Franklin. Zach's going to keep it into the end zone for the touchdown. Zach Terrell from 10 yards out, and the Broncos add six more. Zach Terrell scoring a touchdown for the Broncos last week against North Carolina Central. The Broncos will face a good quarterback this week when they travel to Illinois. We sure will. Wes Lunt, number 12, very, very talented quarterback. They've improved a lot as a football team under Lovey Smith, but the quarter make, quarterback makes things go. Just very similar to Zach Terrell for us, Wes Lunt makes their entire team go. And they've got two really good running backs, too. They really do. I've said it before. I would take those two guys, number 5 and 22, on our football team right now. And instead of the three-headed monster, we'd have the five-headed monsters. And a lot of enthusiasm under the leadership of Lovey Smith now. He's definitely changed the culture, that's for sure. I mean, they play completely different than the film showed last year. BJ, good luck this weekend. I appreciate it. Roll the boat. And we'll be back next week with all the highlights of the Western Michigan-Illinois game in Champaign. For Coach Fleck, I'm Robin Hook. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.